This is weird behaviour, this, this sort of roll over onto cart thing. Hello and welcome, I'm another Magento Dev. And in this video we're going to move on to theming the category page, um, the category list page. So it's a weird page in, in Luma, the, the category list page. Uh, a lot of, Luma is obviously a great base framework for any e-commerce site because of its the fact it's so sort of minimalist if you like. So it's, it's sort of got a minimalist look but it's still got plenty of features and also stuff that you can actually use uh, from the off without having to switch it on. Uh, you know, on for example, um, this type of functionality here in categories where it actually, you know, it updates the price if I pick one, that has it, but it does actually update the price if you if you pick uh, an option that's a different price, you know, with like a slightly different price, and obviously it changes the images as well, which is you know, as I say, a really good. A really good out of the box magento feature and um, i'm continuing um the series of tutorials where i started with the header and footer which is why you can sort of see these customizations so this is over and above luma theme and um, if you're joining me just on this tutorial have a look back at the other ones on how i sort of bit edited this basic header um, i'm fully aware it isn't up to much but it was a good way of demo demoing the process and the, 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 the process behind uh, editing these areas. So we're going to have a look at that today, look at the uh, process of editing the category page. And as I was saying at the beginning, it's a weird page because for me there's too much um, sort of CSS, custom CSS in there for, from the beginning. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Like, well, you can see straight away, this is weird behaviour, this, this sort of rollover onto cart thing. Uh, the amount of times I have to sort of remove this rollover uh, and, and it's all just done within CSS so, so um, changing the 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 amount of columns here so changing this to like three across or, or what have you and um, it's all done in CSS we um, also there's there's things missing from the toolbar as well by default which I find a bit strange so like the page is missing from the top which isn't too bad because the page is actually there in the bot at the bottom which isn't too bad but also um the limiter is missing by default on luma and obviously you have to faff around with that to um i'll just whack this into my catalog css which is good practice you know if you try and have a different um an area and keep your css module ain't gonna hurt anything um and I'll just put a little bit more on that just for the purposes to display it. There you go. So we've actually got a working uh, limiter now, which is uh, obviously general, generally quite useful base e-commerce functionality for a list page. So we'll kick off with um, we'll kick off with a few sort of category fundamentals, things that I, I generally sort of strip it back to. So the key thing, first of all, is to get rid of, I think, get rid of this rollover with this hideous drop shadow. So the way I sort of start on this is, first of all, we identify where the rollover is coming from. If I remember rightly, it's there on that class there, which is product item info. Bang it in the comments, but all I do is I remove that. I remove this, I remove that, and you know, it's sort of nearly gone now, but not quite, we've still got this lingering little um, limpet down at the bottom here, um, and this is because that when that's on roll over there, if I just talk, go through some of these classes here, you'll see I've got the product details there. And then this is the product item in it. And again, there's the there's the offending class. All of this disappears on mobile, by the way, obviously, because mobile doesn't have, you can't really hover on a mobile. Uh, but I usually just basically put these two classes here and I normally like annotate it with like removal of weird rollover. So 
So again, I've just reset everything. These things, obviously, you can tweak. Um, this is the main one here. Get rid of this. There. So. Still got a little, little bit of wobble, um, which will. Yep, still that weird wobble, but we've got the cat. Um, Shown all the time, so the weird wobble, this which you don't want to do because most of it's useful. It's just all this crap on the product page, which I always find myself just getting rid of and you know, and like nullifying if you like. Um, Take that off. There we go. Right, it, it's so at least it's all tidy now. As it, you know, it's it, it it's odd to do it. But anyway, right, let's get on to the let's get on to the good stuff. So let's move this. So let's move the um let's move the layout stuff about. You know, less CSS, more more magento stuff. Right. So in order to do this, you're gonna need a folder and this folder is useful for not only the catalog, got catalog list page but also the catalog um, view page the, the PDP the product page and um, right so how do I know Magento catalog well the short answer is I've done it before but the the slightly longer answer and the answer that any sort of new people embarking on developing Magento themes is module catalog is where stuff lives for the catalog and you might think well how do you know that well how do you find that out if you don't know it so the best way to describe what to do is to search for a class like maybe search for something unique to that sort of place on the page so if I search for category view and I run a search in vendor and this don't work all the time don't get me wrong this, this isn't foolproof but it's not bad so as you can see here right I've got a hit I've got a hit here like these are CSS so we'll discount those we know that we're, we're moving some layout um, elements around so let's have a look at this I'm finding my HTML class because this is a container that outputs this class so now I know that this is my top of my category now because look you can see the category image there which is you know if you upload that in the, the uh, CMS you can see the CMS block when you turn that on in the admin that is this here so if you link this to something uh, that's where it'll output on the oh. okay let's go back to that um, that's where it'll output on the page and you can also see the obvious one there is description category description right so this is living as you can see in module catalog you know where I sort of just said so that's why I knew it was there but this then gives me all the tools to be able to move this stuff around and it's in currently in columns top that's that's the reference container that um, from the page that the category is using and we want to move it essentially into this block here category or content really but we'll move it into content first because that'll give you an idea we might have to sort of shift it again but uh, content is like the middle bit of the page really it's like the columns tag uh, right let's 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 do this so first of all you've got to like build the path to the folder so you just the, the only thing when when um when copying these paths across new folder you don't include the um view or the front end folders in um in your theme so you can go straight to layout uh as i have done here or straight to templates 
uh, depending on which one but we'll come on to templates PHTML templates but anyway layout is where if you're being smart you're gonna do most of your moving around um, you you want to keep I've said this before you want to keep your PHTML files uh, the code in there the HTML code in there down to a minimum really that's, that's what we're aiming for um, so then within here the layout file for the category list page is category catalog category view as you can see as you can see there so to start off just grab these bits and you can close the old body tag and close the page tag so right first thing we're going to do is I just want to move something so I'm going to use a move and the element I'm going to grab first of all is the description so we'll do them one at a time and the way you move things is via the name so you move that I'm moving this block via its name and I'm going to put it in another block and I don't have to actually like I was going to reference the content block in here to be able to do it I don't have to actually bring it in here so that would do it right so we'll just test it out Right, it's gone down to the bottom. Um, that's fine for now. So it's basically been moved into the um, col column main. Right, the reason it's gone down to the bottom is because I didn't specify a position, which if I want it at the top, before and a hyphen will do the trick. Okay, I've got the description moved. So now we're going to move the title. Now, where's the title? It's down here, down at the bottom. Notice that it's in it's it's in its own um, area uh, down here at the bottom. Even though it appears at the top of the page, that doesn't so much matter um, because everything's positioned on the page using sort of positional elements, um, and it's not really even in. Uh, columns is because all titles whether the CMS pages uh, or category pages are all um, within the same sort of area they're right at the top of the page and they're within a you know page title wrapper so but it doesn't matter that uh, it's not actually in that area in, in any just you know it doesn't matter that it's not within the same place as uh, the description or or it's, it's not in any sort of obvious place on the page because you can um, tell you what I'll do I'll make that a before because you can move it using a move command dead simple so and we'll do after and this is a neat little trick so we'll say we want the category description after the page title so we'll see if that works but we want the page title right at the top of content that's what we're specifying there so this should bring everything into this area here perfect so that was dead simple dead easy thing to do we'll move that around yeah so um sometimes you know people designers whatever they don't want this bulky description at the top if i wanted to move it all to the bottom change that to one after and remember the description is anchored to the title so it should all move yeah down at the bottom there if you want the description at the bottom of the page as we've sort of seen I can I could have put a, I could put an after all or I could and then or I could just leave it blank and let the rest of the layout take care of it and then make the title before then there we go we've got the title at the top and we've got the description at the bottom one of the things I might actually demonstrate is how to change this from four columns to three that might be useful for, for people so as you can see it's done here um, using 
nth nth command in you know, nth nth child command in in CSS. So I think this is the key one here. Um, and it's dead simple to do. Just want to make sure these all line up. Yeah, so there's a couple of things to, to change. So first thing we'll do is we'll grab we'll grab this here. The one I've just changed. And I'll just whack in the same media query because um, I'd like the mobile version to continue doing uh, the, the layout that that's continue with the layout that it's got. Um, I think it was 1024, wasn't it? Which is like portrait. So for just yeah, save that and first. Um, I think I'll just refresh it to make sure. So now this has gone to three columns. It does actually look miles better because it gives all this more space. Um, that's better. So and the other thing I get quite uh, picky about is the is the margin that it adds. See that, and that, you can't really tell. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. To demonstrate this, but it is something to look out for. You can see it now, look. Look at that guy there, or that girl. Um, once you've edited the core and, and cleaned it up, it becomes quite easy to use, like right through to all the different sizes, you know, like to get different layouts for different screen sizes. There we go. Right. So, yeah. So that was fairly straightforward to do, and we'll just check it for screen sizes. It looks fairly tidy. So, just to recap what I've done there, you know, not many, not, you know, sort of three sections. First thing to do is to sort of set it to three columns, and that's that's how I do it. Um, set that to three, 7%, 100%. And then, because that pushes that and back over. So, the third one, I make sure is um, pushed over, and then, because that would normally be. That would normally get that one removed. Um, yeah, the large CSS look you can see there removes the the uh, left margin, so I put it back in, and then it, it makes it so. That, and then it's normally the fourth, which is there, um, that also gets its left margin removed, um, and I put that and back in as well to sort of push everything up. So you got a nice space between everything there. Uh, yeah, so that's. Right then, so I hope that was useful. Um, just a few little tips when editing the uh, category of a Magento Luma theme and trying to extend it as much as possible. Um, I've covered resetting some of the weird CSS that comes with it. Um, I've probably done it in a real haphazard um, sort of hacky way, but you know it works. Uh, you, you know if you're if you're more of a front end dev, you'll probably find a better way of doing that. Um, or a tidy way of doing that. I mean, it could be tidied up a lot about my code, to be honest. I've just thrown it in there for demonstration purposes, so don't judge me too much. Um, we've also looked at how to find the layout file for um, for the list, and then how to sort of edit the basics, uh, the basic areas, or the more frequently edited areas, if you like, and just to move files. Um, I hope that is useful to, to some people out there, some, some buddy Magento devs. You know, as always, comments are greatly appreciated, as are likes, obviously. And um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be back with probably a little bit more on the category in that you know a little bit more of a technical one on how to add EAV attributes to the category. Um, but I'll definitely do a a little layout tutorial or sort of front end tutorial for the, the PDP, sort of the next logical page in the you know in that step process. Um, too. So look out for that one coming soon. Yeah.